Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends 2-pack of Dark Phoenix and Cyclops. This is a Toys R Us exclusive, and it is fantastic. Uh, you know I don't see that kind of thing very regularly with the Marvel Legends. We don't often get what we probably should be getting for what we're paying. This is not the case for this 2-pack. This 2-pack is the perfect example of what we should be getting for what we're paying all the time from Hasbro for this line. So there's kind of a lot to talk about. We're gonna do it all in one video instead of two separate reviews. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna spend a little bit of time here. So grab a snack, pop some corn, grab a drink, and let's go ahead and get these guys off the stand and take a closer look. All right, first thing we'll do is we'll get a height measurement for both of them, and then we're gonna kind of break off and talk about talk about them individually. So this guy, Cyclops, stands, not surprisingly, about 16, 16 and a quarter centimeters, right around there, which makes him almost exactly six and a half inches. We've seen these parts before, I think entirely. I'm not positive if it's, if it's a new head sculpt. It looks new, but it might just be because of the paint. It, it's probably the same as the other Cyclops head. I don't have mine to check, um, but you know, it looks new to me. I'm seeing new things on there, so I'm going to go with that, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I don't care, but there you go. So Cyclops looks just fantastic, and we're going to come back to him in just a second. Let's talk about the height for Phoenix. We've seen these parts all before too, for the most part, so it's not really surprising, but she stands about six and a half inches to the top of her hair, which will make her a little bit shorter than Psyche, so that's good. About 16 and a half centimeters, so just for a quick size comparison for these guys, because that's definitely relevant since they're in the same pack. You can see she's as tall as him, but if you count her hair. It's worth noting though that her head is actually bigger than his. Or at least, maybe not bigger, but she's got a lot of face, and he doesn't really. Anyway, they both just look really, really, really good. And so, uh, I guess we can talk about accessories, although unfortunately Cyclops has none. And no accessories for Cyclops, but for Phoenix, we have three total interchangeable heads. We have the one with the translucent hair and the hair is kind of blowing about and she's got some shading for her eyes. Her lips and teeth are painted very well, incredibly well. Her eyes are painted well also. Lots of nice stuff going on with this head sculpt. It's fantastic. I love it. It's worth noting though that the hair doesn't quite fit the head properly over around by her left ear. It's a little bit of an issue but still really nice. Then we have one more head that has the hair kind of flowing about but it, she just looks like Jean there or normal, normal Phoenix. And we do have a little bit of that fitment issue on the one side, but it's okay, I think. Looks pretty good. And the paint job is just equally awesome on this. They're shading throughout the hair, and it just looks great in the face. And then we have another head, which looks to me a lot like Moonstone, if I'm remembering the name correctly. It looks like it might be the exact same head, just almost the tiniest bit of change for the face shape. But either way, the paint job is clean, the sculpt is clean, they're shading in the hair, so I can't really complain. It looks good regardless. And then lastly, we have her little phoenix, which is painted up pretty well with the shading on the orange, on orange on orange, really, it's just dark orange and light orange. Sculpt is clean and it will wrap around her wrist, so you can put that on there and it looks pretty good. So that's it for accessories. We do have a floating belt for each of them, but that doesn't really count. So we're going to set phoenix aside and we're going to go through Cyclops as a regular review and then we'll get to phoenix. So here's the, here's the thing, guys. Paint. It's all about the paint. I've said this so many times. Deadpool was a big offender. I mean, we've gotten so many of these issues where there's just not enough paint. This guy's wearing a two-tone suit. If you take out the belt, it's just blue and yellow. There's nothing there. But they used shading on it, and it makes the figure look a billion times, a trillion, a trillion times better. Look at that. It's like the most basic of paint jobs. It's just hit with an airbrush to give him some shading on some main parts. Across the chest and upper arms, across the upper legs, and the top of the head. That's it. You get a little bit of that same thing on the back, but they didn't even paint the backs of the arms, they didn't paint the lower arms, they didn't paint the lower legs, and it still looks fantastic because of that little bit of shading. These are the things they need to do. It costs them almost nothing, and the figure looks infinitely better than even the last Cyclops, the Jim Lee Cyclops, arguably the most popular look for Cyclops. I'd say this is probably a close number two. This figure looks so much better just because of that little bit of paint. It's it's amazing to me that this is not a standard thing. Look at that. Look how good it look. Look how good it looks. Anyway, 
There are some issues, but we'll get to that. One of the issues, actually we'll get to it right now, is the paint, in fact. And it's kind of interesting. A lot of the Cyclopses, I noticed, had issues with the visor paint. Now this one is the worst offender. Hopefully you guys can see that, where it's got a lot of like black cracking coming through. I think it kind of looks cool. Like it's got comic book shading, even though it probably really shouldn't. It's clearly not intentional, but... Uh, this is the worst example I could find, so I wanted to show you guys that, and I think it looks cool, so I'm going to live with it. I do think they painted the face, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the head's molded in blue, and they painted the face, and they did a good job with the face tone, so that's nice. And then it looks like the visor is maybe a separate piece. I haven't looked at it that close, to be honest. I thought it was the same head sculpt until I, until I started doing this review, but either way... Uh, they did a really good job. It looks to me like the visor is in fact a separate piece, which I think is a first for this, so that's pretty cool. And then lastly for paint issues, kind of issues, not really. The buckle's painted cleanly enough, so that's okay. And then they did do some painting for the upper arm, of the, or the upper part of the lower arm. It's molded in yellow, so that's great. Painting yellow sucks, so I'm glad they did that. And then the blue is painted well enough. It's not exactly right, but it'll do, so... Very, very happy with how this figure turned out. I'm so excited that we got a good Cyclops. And then that it comes with Phoenix, you can't beat that. All right, so we'll run the articulation real quick just in case you guys haven't seen this body before. What am I saying? There's no way that's the case. But you can look all the way up. Really, really good. All the way down, no problem. Full rotation, no problem. Not really much lean side to side, but that's because the head fits on the neck properly. Oh my goodness, why can't they do this more often? Look at that. There's no huge gap between the neck and the head. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. The arms come all the way out to the side, no problem. Full rotation. Bicep swivel works fine. Double jointed elbows, fine. We have our wrist swivel and a hinge. We do have his, um, I don't know what you call his goggles. What do you call that? His visor? Just his visor, right? He doesn't have a name for it. Either way, you can do his optic blast with that hand. This hand is just a fist. Ab crunch. I don't know what's happened over the years using this mold, but I swear the ab crunch used to work better going back, but it won't go back any farther than that. It does lean forward one notch. I feel like that used to be better too. Am I remembering incorrectly or has the mold become worn out and doesn't work functionally? I don't know. But you do have that. You have your waist swivel. The floating belt is nice. The legs go out a little bit better than 45. They go forward all the way. No problem at all. Thigh swivel works just fine. Double jointed knees. That works just fine. You do get your boot swivel here. I will point out the boots are a little bit glossy looking, like the finish is a little bit too shiny, but it's definitely something you can live with and excuse as leather. Uh, so you can bring the foot pretty far forward, pretty far back, and you get your full rotation. So Cyclops is pretty much, this is easily, I think, not just pretty much, easily the best Cyclops figure they've made. And mostly due to the paint, but just, just look at it. This is one of their better bodies, and then they put paint on it. It just looks so... I can't get over how nice it looks just because of the little things. All right, we're going to set him aside. Let's talk about Phoenix. So we have uh, pretty much the same situation. We have a lot of paint on there, which looks good, but then we also have some... She actually has a few issues that Cyclops doesn't have, but we have seen most of this stuff before, so it shouldn't really surprise you too much. So uh, we already talked about the paint thing, and it's true for her too. They did a good job painting what they needed to. The red blends in mostly where it's not painted to where it's painted. That's fine. Um, it looks okay. She does have shading, but it's mostly located just around her abdomen, which means the shading on the arms is a lot less, so the arms kind of look like it's a different piece of material, but it's something you can live with. It's not as good. Like you can see on the shoulders, there's really no shading like there was for a Cyclops, so it doesn't continue the darkness throughout. And then there's almost no darkness on the legs either. So she has kind of like a... Not kind of, she's a lot less shading and it's a lot less effective, but it is on there and it still does look good where it does exist. The Phoenix logo on her boobages is painted pretty cleanly, so that's nice. They painted this logo really well on her on her sash. Here's the thing, I don't know, and I couldn't find any images. I mean, I only did like a two minute search, but still, I thought this sash was supposed to go around back, like that more, but it's not sculpted that way. It's sculpted to sit up front. And then if this is around in the back, should that be on the very back? Because if that's... I mean, like, I'm not sure how this situation is supposed to be. It seems weird that that logo's there in the first place. Shouldn't it be on this side of the knot? I don't know. You guys can let me know if you're, like, uh, if you've read up on all the Phoenix designs or something. But either way, it's worth noting. Okay, so, her head. Look at that gap. Goodness gracious. It's like, that's probably the biggest one we've ever seen. Her head is nowhere near connected to her neck. Good thing is, it's still technically in the right place. Like, you can see it's not too high overall, 
but they need to figure out a way to make the heads fit on the necks rather than just having this giant peg connecting the head to the neck. The arms function as we've seen before, all the way out to the side, full rotation. No bicep swivel, but we do get it at the elbow hinge. We get our swivel in there, so that should be okay. Wrist swivel and hinge. Diaphragm joint works particularly well on this figure. It leans all the way back, and the paint is continued, so that's good. Leans not so far forward, but probably enough. Side to side works really well. You do get your rotation out of it. This is a floating piece. We've seen that. Uh, I do have some issues with the sculpt on this torso, we've talked about that before, but it's hidden perfectly on this figure, so it's no big deal. Uh, the hips, still not the best design, but it feels like they've adjusted it a little bit, because you can bring the legs up farther without having to rotate them forward. You, in fact, it doesn't give you any better range, so it, there's kind of a sweet spot where it works a little bit better, but it's still okay. It'll do. They, they do come all the way forward, so that's fine. You get your thigh swivel, no problem there. It's a little loose, in fact, that's a little strange. But you do get your thigh swivel. Double jointed knees work just fine. You can bring the ankle all the way back, so that's good. You can bring it, how far forward? Yeah, not that far forward, but a little bit, so that's okay. And then you get your ankle rocker. Worth mentioning, this ankle is totally frozen on mine. I get the rocker, but no hinge at all. And I even, I heated it, I tried to pry it apart, it just won't go. So I'm going to have to mess with it to make it work. But even still, so she's not as good as Cyclops. She's still really freaking good. And especially if you just look at her head sculpts, it's fantastic. And she gets multiple head sculpts, so that's even better. So this two-pack is easily, by far, the best example of Marvel Legends that I can think of. Yeah, we've had some good figures like Dormammu, and we've had some cool packs, but this set right here, easily the best, by far. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.